जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज
Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudhiraya Tato Jaya Mudhiraya Nasta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nasta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki Bhaktir Bhavati Naistiki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Second Canto, Chapter 4, text number 9. Yatagunam stu prakrite. Yatagunam stu prakrite. Yugapur krishma sopiva. Yugapur krishma sopiva. Vibhati Bhurishas Tvekeka Vibhati Bhurishas Tvekeka Kurvan Karmani Janmabhi Kurvan Karmani Janmabhi Yatagunam Stu Prakrite Yatagunam Stu Prakrite Yuga Pat Krama Shopiva, Yuga Patrama Shopiva, Bibhati Bhurishas Tveka, Bibhati Bhurishas Tveka, Kurvan Karmani Janmabhi, Kurvan Karmani Janmabhi, Yatagunam Stu Prakrite, Yatagunam Stu Prakrite, Yuga Pat Krama Sopiva, Yuga Patrama Sopiva, Vibhati Bhurishas Tveka, Vibhati Bhurishas Tveka, Kurvan Karmani Janmabhi, Kurvan Karmani Janmabhi. Want to chant? Yathagunam Stu Prakrite, Yathagunam Stu Prakrite, Yugapat karma shopiva, Yugapat karma shopiva, Vibhati bhuri shastveka, Vibhati bhuri shastveka, Kurvan karmani janmabhi, Kurvan karmani janmabhi. Yathagunam stu prakrite, Yathagunam stu prakrite, Yuga pat krama shopiva, Yuga pat krama shopiva, Bhakti bhuri shastveka, Bhakti bhuri shastveka, Kurvan karma ni janma pi, Kurvan karma ni janma pi. There's no purport. Верховный Господь всегда един, и когда Он сам управляет буйной материальной природой, и когда распространяет себя во множество форм, и когда последовательно распространяет себя, чтобы манипулировать буйной природой. Go to the next verse. Vichik Vichik Etam Etam Me Brav Bravitu Bhagavanyata Shabde Brahmani Nishnata Para Parasma Parasmims Chapavan Kalu Translation Рассеять мои сомнения, ввести не только следующий в ведических писаниях и постиг природу трансцендентного, но еще и великий преданный Господа, а потому также могущественный, как сама личность Бога. Yeah. Комментарии до восьми, Шила Прасада. 
В Брахма Самхите говорится, что Верховная Абсолютная Истина, Галинда, Личность Бога одна, ей нет равных. Тем не менее, она распространяет себя во множество совершенных форм, не отличных друг от друга. И хотя Господь изначальная личность, Он вечно юн и полный истекаемой мнойческой энергии. Постичь его, изучая изложенную в ведах трансцендентную науку, очень трудно, однако чистые преданные Господа легко постигают его. Экспансии различных форм Господа, от Кришны к Баладеве и Санкаршане, от Санкаршаны к Васудеве, от Васудевы к Анирухи, от Анирухи к Прадьюме, а затем ко второй экспансии Санкаршан, и от него к Пуруша, Аватарам, Нарайне и другим бесчисленным формам, которые сравнивают с непрерывным потоком волн реки суть одна и та же Личность. Они подобны светильникам одинаковой мощности, извергающимся один от другого. Таково трансцендентное могущество Господа. В Ведах говорится, что Он так совершенен, что даже когда из Него исходит полное целое, Он по-прежнему остается неизменным полным целым. Пурнасия Пурнамадая, Пурнам Эва Вашиштате. Поэтому материальная концепция Бога, которую выдвигают философы и эмпирики, не имеет под собой никаких оснований. Для мирского ученого, даже если он обладает обширными познаниями в ведической литературе, Бог всегда остается тайным. Будешь двух лапкам, а двух лапкам отмам вахтал. Господь не умещается в узкие рамки концепции мирских знатоков, вес, философов и ученых. Однако чистые преданные легко постигают его, поскольку, как сам Господь, провозглашает Бхагавадгите 18.54, постичь его истинную природу может лишь тот, кто миновал стадию знания и дьяна и занимается преданным служением Господу. Не занимаясь трансцендентным любовным служением Господу, нельзя составить сколько-нибудь ясного представления о Господе или о Его святом имени, форме, качествах, играх и прочем. Подтверждение Бхагавадгиты о том, что главный долг человека – предаться Господу, освободившись от всех прочих обязанностей, означает – что человек должен стать чистым, беззаветным преданным Господу. Только тогда, в процессе преданного служения, человек может, человек может постичь Господа. В предыдущей стихе Махараджа Парикши признал, что Господа не в силах постичь даже самые выдающиеся знатоки вед. Так почему же сейчас он просит Шукадева Госвами восполнить его знания о Господе? Ответ прост. Шукадева Госвами не только обладал обширными познаниями в ведической литературе, но был также великой, осознавшей себя душой могущественным преданным Господу. По милости Господа такой преданный становится могущественнее самого Господа. Чтобы достичь острова Ланки, личности Бога Шитама Чанты, потребовалось построить мост через Индийский океан, а бесстремительной преданной личности Бога Шрихану Манту преодолел океан один прыжком. Из милости к своему чистому преданному Господь иногда делает так, что его любимый преданный кажется более могущественным, нежели он сам. К примеру, Господь сказал Дурваси Муни, что не может спасти его, хотя Дурваса Муни был столь могущественным, что смог достичь Господа, находясь в материальном постижении постижения. Но Махараджа Амбариша, преданный Господу, сумел защитить Дурвасу. И поскольку преданный Господа могущественнее его самого, то и поклонение преданному считается более эффективным, нежели непосредственное поклонение Господу. Мадбаса Пуджа Ратхика. Следовательно. Серьезный преданный должен прежде всего обратиться к духовному учителю, который не только в совершенстве знает ведическую литературу, но и является великим преданным Господу, постигшим его самого и его родных чрез милость. Без помощи такого духовного учителя невозможно углублять свои познания в трансцендентной науке о Господе. Истинный духовный учитель, подобный Шукадеве Госвами, говорит не только о проявлении внутренних энергий Господа, но объясняет и то, как Господь взаимодействует со своими внешними энергиями. Деятельность внутренней энергии Господа проявляется в его играх во Вриндаване, а деятельность тем, чью его внешних энергий управляет эти экспансии Господа, как Карана Дакашая Вишну, Гарба Дакашая Вишну, Кшира Дакашая Вишну. В этой связи Шрила Вишанатха Чакравати, Чакравати дает совет всем вайшнавам. Следуя примеру идеального ученика Махараджа Парикшита, идеального духовного учителя Шукадева Госвами, преданные должны интересоваться не только играми Господа, такими как Раса Лива, но и деятельностью Пуруша Аватар Господа, которая связана со Шри Сиддхартой, созидательными функциями Пуруша. Vayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam 
Vandeham Shri Gara Shri Yata Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sadevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakali Tamsya He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanshana Govarangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sate Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kaupata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaivata Patitana Pavanevyo Vaishnavipyo Namona Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatha Shri Vasati Goham Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Maharaj Parikshit is inquiring from Sukadeva Goswami. Of course, Maharaj Parikshit has been cursed to die and he's uh, come to the holy place on the bank of the Yamuna to hear Srimad Bhagavatam from Sukadeva Goswami. So Maharaj Parikshit is inquiring, we heard in the first verse about He's inquiring about the Lord's relationship with the material energy, the three modes of nature. And Srila Prabhupada is pointing out to us in the purport how it's very important for us to understand all of the potencies of the Lord. We take great pleasure in hearing uh, Gopi Lila. You know, you see, if you go to Kumbh Mela sometime in India, you know, they have this big festival at the, where the Ganges meets the Yamuna. And it's a big meal at once every 12 years and a small one every six years. So, but at that time, many different spiritual organizations, different spiritual leaders all come there. And they, you know, they generally, they, they will, they'll have a stage, they'll have a little, uh, they'll make a little dais for themselves, you know, a stage, and they'll put on different programs. And even though they may not be Krishna devotees, they often present Gopi Lila. <laughs> Because Rasa Lila, the pastimes of Krishna with the gopis, is very popular and very much appreciated. People like to hear it, they like to sit and watch it. And people also sing the Gopi Gita. If you go to the Braja Mandal Parikrama in the month of Kartik, the devotees walk through the forests of Vrindavan for one month. 
So every evening the devotees will sing the Gopi Gita. The songs of the Gopi when the Gopis when they were feeling separation from Krishna. And even though people may not be very devoted to Krishna, but still they like to sing this Gopi Gita. И, возможно, эти люди не слишком преданы Господу, но они все же любят петь эту Бхагавиту. It's very beautiful. Это очень прекрасная песня. When you hear it, you know, you also think, oh, so nice. И когда вы слышите ее, вы тоже можете подумать, какая она красивая. So, uh, they have uh, many, many temples also, the devotees learn to sing the Gopi Gita. I was in the Middle East some time ago, and in the Middle East they were teaching all the ladies the Gopi Gita, and all the men were learning Purusha Shukta. Right? Purusha Shukta should be chanted when you do Abhishek. When we perform the installation of the deities or when we do the puja, uh, big Abhishek, like on Janmashtami, maybe you'll bring a deity and do Abhishek. Or maybe somebody's worshipping Shaligram Shilas. Then you can do puja, do Abhishek, bathe, and chant Purusha Shukta. But uh, for the ladies, they like to chant Gopi Gita. But men also chant Gopi Gita. It's so wonderful. It's on the internet. If you go on YouTube, you can you can listen yourself. So point the point. People like to hear about go. They don't like to hear about creation very much. <laughs> Prabhupada published the Krishna book. The Krishna book is full of many pastimes, many stories. Wonderful lilas. We enjoy to hear it. But we should also hear about Krishna's other potencies, not just his lila tattva, but his tristi tattva, not just the pastime potency, but we should hear about his creative powers. And this, this has already been discussed earlier in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Particularly in the, in the second canto and in the third canto, Several times they talk about creation and describe the process of creation. And it's very complex. And in the, in the Christian Bible, they describe creation in a very, very simplistic manner. Say, they say God created the world in seven days. How did he do it? They, they don't go into the details. But in Srimad Bhagavatam, you get very detailed description how the creation came about. From the from the uh, Pradhan to the Mahatattva, Pradhan is the unmanifested stage of the material nature. Then 
becomes the Mahatattva. Mahatattva is the manifested state. И это состояние приходит в Махататву, которое является проявленным состоянием материальной энергии. But the Mahatattva is all merged together. It's undifferentiated. You can't see, pick out one thing from another. It's like kitchery. Но Махататва это такая субстанция, как пища. То есть вы не понимаете каких-то отдельных вещей. Там все как-то вот перемешано, связано. You know kitchery? You like kitchery? No, you don't like it. In India, they, in India, they eat kitchari a lot. Right, kitchari, you know, it's all merged together. The rice, dal, sabji, you can't tell what's what. It's just all melted together. Or like halava, you know, in halava, you have sugar and butter and grains and it's all there in the halava, but you can't see one thing. You can't, but we can't say, well, that's the sugar, that's the butter. It's all merged. <coughs> so the Mahatadva is the merge. That's the, the, everything of the creation, all the 24 elements of creation. And then from Mahatattva, then you the, explains how the different elements and the different sense organs are all created one after another. So creation comes from subtle to gross. Yeah, the subtlest element, the the ether. Ether means where there's no air. Five elements, right? The great elements of creation. Bumer apo nalo vayu kamano buder evacha ahankara iti yamme bina prakriter ashtada. Krishna describes in Bhagavad Gita. He said there are elements, eight elements, my separated energies, that earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and false ego. И Кришна говорит в Бхагавад Гите, что то, что что существует восемь элементов, и это моя отделенная энергия: земля, вода, огонь. So bina prakriti, it's prakriti, Krishna's energy, Krishna, and it's ashtad, it's separate, bina, is separated from him. Prabhupada gives an example, he said, just like husband and wife, he said they may be separated, the relationship is not very very pleasing, so they separate. So material, Krishna's material energy is separated from him. He's, Krishna's in the spiritual world, but he has this, sep this material energy, it's also his energy, but it's separated. But Prabhupada gives another example. He said, just like the milk from the cow is like the separated energy of the cow. Or this recording. The voice is being recorded there in the device. It's the separated energy of the speaker. So the material energy is the separated energy of Krishna. So we take great pleasure in hearing about gopis and Krishna killing the demons and all these things. It's so nice to hear these wonderful stories. Of 
course, they're not stories. They're Leela, they're actual pastimes of Lord Krishna. But creation is also Krishna's Leela. How but Krishna produces all the elements of the material world. Mm. And, and, and Prabhupada is making the point that it's duty, it's a business of a devotee that they should know everything about Krishna. And which it begins with not understanding about creation. We should understand how Krishna creates the material world. Mm. This is so Maharaj Parikshit is inquiring from Sukadeva Goswami about this. He wants Sukadeva Goswami to tell him how the Lord did it. You know, just imagine somebody, some new devotee comes to you, you know, and they say, Prabhu, you're a devotee. Can you tell me how Krishna creates the material world? Right? Can you tell us? Uh -huh. Maharaj Parikshit came there and he's, you know, he's got very deep questions, you know, to Sukadeva Goswami. You know, they're really advanced devotees. So Maharaj Parikshit, he wants to know in detail how Krishna brought about this creation. And you'll see, before Sukadeva Goswami replies, he first of all offers prayers. Just like even today, before speaking, we, you know, we also recited some prayers. Because you want to speak about the glories of Krishna and to describe his energies, you need blessings. We need to be empowered with, so we have to pray that we offer these prayers at the beginning. Sometimes the other devotees, there were some other devotees, they would offer prayers for a long time. If, well, I remember there was one Prabhupada disciple, Gorgovinda Swami. He, would, he was, you know, he was born in a very pious devotee family. So his whole life he was a devotee of Jagannath. And somehow he came to Iskon, he met Prabhupada in Vrindavan and he surrendered and became Prabhupada disciple. So he was a very scholarly, very learned person. And before he would give class, he would recite prayers, so many verses, one after another. Just to get blessings from Krishna. And you'll see also here in Srimad Bhagavatam that Sukadeva Goswami will also offer prayers before he speaks. Because it's a very deep subject to talk about how this creation came about. But we have all the information here in Srimad Bhagavatam. So if you ever study, if you take the... After Bhakti Shastri, sometimes people go on and study Bhakti by Bhav. And Bhakti by Bhav means study Srimad Bhagavatam. And they study the creation three, four times. Described in the second canto, then in the third canto, 
Here we have Sukadev Goswami going to describe to Maharaj Parikshit, but in the third canto, Vidura and Maitreya will discuss it. So Sukadeva Goswami's qualification is described here by Maharaj Parikshit. He says that you are, he says that Sukadeva Goswami knows he studied all the Vedic literature. Of course Sukadeva Goswami was the son of Vyasadeva. And Vyasadeva himself is the compiler of the Vedic literature. Well you know he, he had the Vedas written down. Srila Vyasadev knew Kali Yuga is beginning. Srila Vyasadev knew Kali Yuga is beginning and uh, people in Kali Yuga have bad memories. Right? We know we have very poor memories, right? So to help people in the Kali Yuga, Srila Vyasadeva arranged to have Ganesh come to write. He, Vyasadeva would speak and Ganesh would write. Uh, Sukadeva Goswami, he's the son. He heard the father. He knew about the father, what the father is teaching, what the father is writing. It is said Sukadeva Goswami stayed in the womb of his mother for 16 years. He did not want to come out. He was absorbed in the impersonal Brahman and he thought, no need to come out, I'll just stay here. But he got reassurance from Lord Krishna that the material energy would not trouble him. So then he came, uh, he took birth. So his qualification was that he's been born, you know, he's very learned in the Vedic scriptures. Then it's described, he's self-realized in transcendence. Self-realized means not just that they have heard, but they have actually understood the knowledge. Oh, we have so many material desires. We're troubled by our mind and senses. But we know we're not the body. We're not the mind. But still we're troubled by these things. So self-realization means we've actually understood and we can apply the knowledge. Mm. Sometimes we use the word Atmarama, one who is taking pleasure in the soul. 
bed is transcended. Transcendental. He was what we, we use the word avaduta. Avadut means he doesn't belong to any position in society. He's totally detached from the material world. He, he, he didn't even, it said after he took birth, he immediately left home. And his father, Vyasadeva, was upset because his father said, no, wait, I want to make you the Brahman. I want to give you the initiation and put the thread around your neck. But Sukadeva Goswami wasn't interested in that. He was all, all, way above all. But Brahmana is a material designation. Right. You think I'm a Brahmachari or I'm a Sanyasi, I'm a, I'm the, I'm, these are all designations of the material world. But Sukadeva Goswami is above all of this. He is Abadut. He doesn't worry about anything. He's even walking around naked. He doesn't even clothe himself. He's walking everywhere without cloth covering the body. So people thought he was a madman, but actually he was the greatest self-realized soul. So Maharaj Parikshit understands his position. He's describing here that he, he was fixed in transcendence and also he's a great devotee of the Lord. И Махарадж Парикшит понимал это его положение. Он описывает здесь, что он был великим преданным Господа. Yeah, there are many people, great yogis, mystics, you know, they're advanced, they're detached from the body, but they, they're not all devotees. А знаете, есть различные йоги, мистики, которые достаточно на высоком уровне находятся, но они не являются преданными. Just like at Kumbh Mela, there's very few devotees. There's a lot of yogis and other people, but very few devotees. Mm. People were, devotee, we're talking, I mean devotee of Krishna. There are many people, they worship Shiva, they worship other gods. You know, they're inter they have material desires. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is written, Bhukti Mukti Siddhikami Sakale Ashanta, Krishna Bhakti Nishkam Saish Ashanta. That only devotee of Krishna is actually peaceful. All, all the others, they have some kind of desire. Somebody wants bhukti, they want sense gratification. Somebody wants liberation, they want mukti. Somebody else wants the siddhis, the yoga powers. All these different kind of yogis and mystics, they all have some kind of desire. But a devotee just simply wants devotional service. So he's sad as he's peaceful. So Sukadeva Goswami was a devotee of Krishna. Be his father, Vyasadeva, was a devotee. Sukadeva Goswami also had devotion from Krishna. He learned from his father. 
Его отец был предан Господу и Шукадева Госвами, так что у него эту преданность, он беременен ее в Гласвами учился. So this is very important to Maharaj Parikshit, because Maharaj Parikshit is also a devotee. Это было очень важно для Махараджа Парикшита, так как он сам был предан Кришне. Махарадж Парикшит has to find somebody to guide him because he's preparing for death. He only has seven days to live. И Махарадж Парикшит, Махарадж Парикшит, ему нужно было найти кого-то, кто смог бы вести его, потому что он уже был на пороге смерти, ему оставалось всего всего лишь семь дней. Every moment is very important. И каждое мгновение было очень важно. And he wants to get the best possible association. So he was feeling very fortunate when Sukadeva Goswami came because he knew Sukadeva Goswami to be a devotee of Krishna. And Maharaj Parikshit is also a devotee. Maharaj Parikshit is the son of Abhimanu, and Abhimanu was the son of Arjuna. So he's coming from the Pandava family. И Махарадж Парикшит сам был предан Господу, потому что он был сыном Абхиманию, который был сыном Арджуны. Таким образом, он был из семьи Пандавов. Арджуна was the friend of Krishna. Krishna selected Arjuna to speak Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna был другом Кришны. Кришна выбрал Арджуну, чтобы рассказать Бхагавад Гиту. So certainly, Maharaj Parikshit, he's the grandson of Arjuna. He is also very much devoted to Krishna. И таким образом Махарадж Парикшит был внуком Арджуны, он был очень предан Кришне. And when it came time for him, when he was cursed to die, then he went to find the great to, to find the great sages and the you know to ask them what should I do for to prepare for death. So they had so many different suggestions. И когда он был проклят, чтобы умереть, он обратился к мудрецам, что я должен делать на пороге смерти, и они давали ему различные наставления. But their, their suggestions were not devotional. Но все эти наставления они не были uh, наставлениями преданности. But when Sukadeva Goswami came, then everybody understood. Oh, he is Sukha, This is the son of Vyasadeva. He is very powerful. Но когда пришел Сукадева Госвами, все поняли, что это сын Вьясадева, он очень могуществен. So the situation was arranged for Sukadeva Goswami to be the spiritual master of Maharaj Pariksha. И таким образом ситуация сложилась так, что Сукадева Госвами стал духовным учителем Махарадж Парикши. They'd never met before. Они никогда ранее не встречались. But once they met, then immediately it became clear. Who, what was the position? The Sukadev was to be the guru, and Maharaj Parikshit, his disciple. Но как только они встретились, их положение сразу же прояснилось. Шукадева Госвами стал гуру, а Махарадж Парикшит Парикшит его учеником. They had nothing in common. Sukadev Goswami and Maharaj Parikshit had nothing in common. У них было у них не было ничего общего. Sukadev is is naked. The son of Vyasadev wandering around. And Maharaj Parikshit is the emperor of the world. Two very different backgrounds. But one thing in common, they are both devotees of Krishna. Но была одна вещь, которая связывала их, они оба были преданными Господа Кришне. So Maharaj Parikshit is inquiring from Sukadeva Goswami about his creation. И таким образом Махарадж Парикшит вопрошал Сукадева Госвами об этом творении. And Sukadeva Goswami is not a sahajya. Sahajya means one who takes everything very cheap. И Сукадева Госвами не был сахаджи. Сахаджи это тот, кто Oh, they want to enjoy Krishna Lila. But they have not purified themselves. They have not prepared for hearing Krishna Lila. The topics of Krishna are confidential. They come in the 10th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam. 
и темы, связанные с Кришной, очень And before we come to that tenth, we have to hear the earlier cantos. We have to hear from the beginning. We have to hear about creation. We worship the Lord. First of all, we approach the Lord from His lotus feet. The first two cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam are called the Pada Padma, the lotus feet of the Lord. But the tenth canto, where Krishna Lila is described, that is the face of the Lord. So before we look on the Lord's face, we have to first worship His feet and approach His feet and then gradually work up to the face. So Maharaj Parikshit's approach in inquiring from Sukadeva Goswami is very instructive to all of us. И вопросы Махараджа Парикши и Шукадева Гасвами очень uh, являются наставлениями для нас. But we don't just simply want to hear about Rasa Lila and Krishna's pastime. We, we, and it's, we don't just want to hear his confidential pastime. И мы хотим слушать не только о Лилах Кришны, а о каких-то uh, очень личных, личностных uh, его играх. We have to understand how he does the work of creation also. It's also Krishna's Lila. Creating this material manifestation. Any question? As far as I understand, uh, we told Maharaj that uh, Shukadeva Goswami just teached from his father's devotion. But how he can be this? Because uh, for the first time he was uh, in, in the womb of his mother. And then after that birth, he just immediately gone. This child in the womb can also hear. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj was in the womb of his mother when his mother was taken to the ashram of Narada Muni. Narada Muni was speaking and reading Shastra to the mother. And Prahlad was in the womb, but he was hearing. And similarly, Sukadeva Goswami was also hearing. Some people also say that after Sukadeva Goswami left home, he was wandering in the forest, and one day he heard some of the students of Vyasa Dev, and they were reciting verses from Srimad Bhagavatam. Because they had studied under Srila Vyasa Dev, so when they went into the forest, they would recite verses of the Srimad Bhagavatam, and Sukadev heard them reciting the verses. He became attracted. And he approached these boys and said, Oh, this is so beautiful. You're singing such beautiful songs. So the boy said, Yeah, we will take you to our teacher. И он подошел к этим мальчикам и сказал, о, вы поете такие красивые песни. Они говорят, ну, мы тебя научим, мы отведем тебя к своему учителю. 
And so he said, okay, so they took him back to the teacher. <laughs> so Sukadev came back to Vyasadev <laughs> and heard everything again. But child in the womb also hears. Just like when a woman, if a woman carries a child, a pregnant woman, if she sits in front of television, you know, and later on, after when she gives birth, then the child who's been in the womb, the mother's been watching television, then the, the children coming out from the womb, they carry the impressions from these television programs. So when devotee woman conceives, it's very important for her to hear and chant carefully. So she can have a good devotee child. We discussed that uh, when we have when we had Srimad <coughs> Bhagavatam class, uh Karanada Kashaya uh Vishnu Karana means cause. Yes? Uh, Garbada Kashaya Garbadaka. Garbadaka means belly button because lotus grow gr uh, grew from his belly button. Yes, but right? Garbo. Garbo is like Garbadan. Garbadan. You know Garbadan Samskar? Ah, means um, the act of uh, conceiving the child. Conceiving right? the child. Okay, and Kshira the Kashaya Vishnu, what does it mean Kshira? It's, it, it connects with, with, with him? No. With, with him? And why? Huh? And why? Why? Why does it connect with, with milk? Because the Lord resides on Svetadvit, and Svetadvit is surrounded by the milk ocean. So this is the Lord, which resides with Svetadvit, it resides in our heart. Huh? This Lord, uh, with, uh, with, uh, who resides in Svetadvit... It's also in the heart, it's, yeah, it's, it's Paramatma. Paramatma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Сила, <говорит> А мы нам неизвестно, неизвестно было, почему кшир это каша, откуда кшир, и кшир говорила, что это кхир, кхир это что-то молочное, откуда взялось молочное, непонятно, почему без парамахмы и молочное. Вот, а это тот Господь, который обитает, живет на Шветодвипе, это молочный океан, то есть это и есть тот Господь, который пребывает в нашем сердце, это и есть парамахмы. Вот. Ну, тогда получается два. Один, который дает жизнь Браме, и один, который является Параматом. Гарба Дакашай дает жизнь Браме. Да, 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 он обитает. Если, если все это два в одной вселенной, то есть а, Корана, это, ага. которая за, ну, за пределами, да, это Маха, все Маха, творение, Маха Вишна, да. Кшира, это... Гарба Дака, он создает, он создает в нашей вселенной, возлежит Вишну на своих водах, на, на поте своего, на своем, в океане своего пота. Он лежит и зарастет лотос, а, а, этот, а третий находится в острове Швейтадвипа. Вопрос, где остров Швейтадвипа, да? Mm -hmm. Параматма — это... Маха-вишну и есть Карана-дакаша-вишну. Да, Соответственно, из него выходит вселенная. Yeah. А, да, из него выходит Кара вселенная. Карана, причина yeah. вселенной. Yeah. В каждой вселенной есть... Гарба да каша вишну, Брама дает Браме. Да. Правильно, да? Да, да. 
отсюда еще один у нас остается кшира дакаша. Так не является ли гарба дакаша и, и где он тогда обитает? А кшира дакаша вечно обитает на острове Швитадвипа. А гарба дакаша? А, Эдварис гарба дакаша и вечно. Тогда где его? Where is the Where is the at the bottom of the universe, laying on the garba dak ocean at the bottom of the universe? Он на дне Вселенной. Да. Да. И теперь все будет все понятно. Не сложно, конечно. При встрече там присутствовали такие великие мудрецы, как Нарада Мамада и сам Ясадева. Почему он был а, избран именно Шукадева, как Кришна Кришна так решил дать ему да, финансирование и не обусловлено ли это его сварупой какой-то? Well, it's quoted that uh, just like when mangoes grow on the tree, the mango fruit, which is being eaten by the parrot, that is the sweetest fruit. Right? The Srimad Bhagavatam describes that the that fruit coming from the mouth of Shuka is, is more sweeter. And you know, I, it, the way I understand it is after Sukadeva Goswami appeared and I began to speak, then Narada Muni and Vasudeva, they all came, they wanted to hear Sukadeva Goswami speak. But you know, of course, they 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 are there. It's not like they're competing, you know. Not like they're competing that oh, I can speak better than him, you know. I should speak. I'm senior to him. No, they they want to hear from Shukha. They're happy to hear from Shukha Dev Goswami. We don't hear Narada Muni or Vyasadev correcting anything Sukadev Goswami says. The Prabhupada would sometimes sit and hear his disciples also speak. Just because one is senior doesn't mean they have to speak all the time. <coughs> Prabhupada even commented he likes, he was enjoying hearing his disciples speak. Я немножко отойду от темы. Как разговаривать с людьми, которые утверждают, что Саи Баба, Бог, и даже говорят, то есть где-то вот начитались, это так точно в голову вошло, 
что он является Богом, называет его имя Калки и авторит логи и читает Шримад Бхагаватам, и Шримад Бхагаватам при этом не является для них авторитетом. Вот тут как быть. They call him Kalki. Well, better not to associate with them. They're, but this uh, person in our yatra, huh? yatra, in our yatra. They're in our yatra. They come to our program. They, huh? yes. they, chant yeah, they chant Hare Krishna. Yeah. Sometimes they do. We have people like that in other places also. So you have to understand their level. But they have their own under their own interpretation. You don't need to associate intimately with them. You don't need to hear from them. Because they have not understood the actual message of the scriptures. Many people may come for our programs. We, we had that one girl also, she was a devotee of Sai Baba. And, and she read all Srimad Bhagavatam. And she had many quotes from Srimad Bhagavatam to support Sai Baba's Mayavadi philosophy. So we don't take these people seriously. Just encourage them, okay, okay, keep coming. <laughs> Come with us, chant Hare Krishna. We, we distribute Prabhupada's books to so many different kinds of people. In China, we tell Prabhupada's books to so many different groups, to other sects, other people, Buddhists, and Mayavadi, atheists, everybody. Give everybody, let them all give, a, give them a chance to get some mercy. But you have to, we have to judge, we have to see who is actually really the devotee. You have to see the behavior, how they speak also. Anyway, the person is coming, encourage them, keep coming. Let them hear, chant Hare Krishna, take prasada. And encourage them to give money. Get them to donate. Yeah. Tell them if they want to make advancement, they should give the, all their money to Krishna. And we will, we will use it all for Krishna. And they will be blessed. Tell them Sai Baba will be very pleased with them. Another question about creation. If material world is a reflection of a spiritual world, it means in a spiritual world also uh, there is a development, there is a creation, but in another um, condition. No. No? No. In the spiritual world, there's no creation. 
А, то есть если дух, материализм является отражением духовного мира, то значит духовный мир тоже есть какое-то творение, просто какой-то другой степени, но нет, в духовном мире нет никакого творения. In the material world there is creation, maintenance and destruction. Right? The influence of time. But in the spiritual world there's no it's all there's eternal. It's eternal. It's the But there may be the impression of creation. Maybe there. I felt that uh, Krishna can create uh, um, any spiritual world, can create uh, uh, so he, he can create Krishna Loka for his devotee. Well, it's not that he creates Krishna Loka. Krishna Loka is eternal. A lot of Krishna Lokas in the spiritual world. Huh? Um, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of Krishna Lokas in the spiritual world. A lot of Vaikuntha planets, mm -hmm. but only one Krishna Loka. Mm -hmm. But there are many planets in the Vaikuntas. In the spiritual sky, there are many planets. There's the Vaikuntha planets with unlimited numbers of planets. And in each Vaikuntha planet, there's a particular form of Vishnu. Then there's also Ayodhya, where Lord Rama's devotees go. And then there's also Krishna in Dwarka. Mm, and then you have Krishna in Mathura. And then you have Krishna in Vrindavan. And we have Lord Chaitanya also in the spiritual world. He's also in, in Goloka. They have Navadvip. Navadvip is not different from Vrindavan. And so there are many different places, according to the different moods of the devotee, there are many different places in the spiritual world. Devahuti is the mother of Kapila, and she goes to the planet where Lord Kapila resides. And Bhishma Dev, he goes to the planet where Krishna is in the form of Partha Sarati, driving the chariot of Arjuna. So all the different forms of the Lord, they, they have their own planets there in Vaikuntha. Many, many planets. Many different forms, but only one Goloka, and it's in the whirl of the lotus. Goloka is in the form of a lotus flower, and Krishna resides in the center of that lotus. Предыстория или история о том, как э, Шукадева Госвами попал на вот эту э, на Гангу, где Махарадж э, Парикшит э, собрался поститься в преддверии смерти. Ну, то есть есть ли какая-то вот проведение, ну, каким образом история, oh. как он туда приглашен был, или он какой интерес туда ему будет прийти. Он же все, он же был. Не заметен, никто не знал, где он, ну, как там. Uh, the question is how Shukadeva Goswami uh, came to this place where Mahaprabhu Parikshit uh, takes peace to until his death. Uh, how, uh, how people know where is he, or just how he can see this? Приглашен. Uh, or they invited him to come? By the grace of the Lord. 
<laughs> Krishna from the heart inspired. Just like Prabhupada went to America. How did Prabhupada go to America at that particular time in the 1960s? Why did Prabhupada go to America? Why didn't he go to England? Krishna arranged. Pure devotees are under the direction of Lord Krishna. Now sometimes people say, Krishna, Krishna told me to smoke cigarettes. Krishna told me to take drugs. No. Krishna directs his devotees in devotional service. Not not in sense grasp. Махараджа Парикшит, он нам как, ну, как пример его Кришна нам поставил, да? А у него же, получается, не было посвящения. Почему он не принял здесь показательное? Он был вроде как принял, но показательное посвящение почему не дали? Махарадж Парикшит это Джанко, но почему Махарадж Парикшит не Why uh, Shukadeva Goswami was his guru and he was his disciple, but there was no the process of initiation for that? Yeah, that's right. Generally, you know, the process of initiation was something introduced more by, uh, you know, like in the, the, since Lord Chaitanya's time, you know, we don't find so much. The, rather, the initiation was just taking the instruction, taking the teachings. That was the initiation. They come and they stay with the Guru and they hear from him. You know, we come, we get association for half an hour, we hear, hear from the Guru for half an hour, and then you never see him for months. <laughs> and you, sometimes, you know, it happens, you don't see, you don't get much association with the Guru. We, we. So that's why they have this initiation ceremony to commit the person. But previously, previously, the, you know, person would come and actually come to the ashram of the guru and stay there. And take the instruction and learn from them. And after they learn, then they go. Bhagavatam ki, Srila Prabhupada ki, Gaur Premanandi.